We're at the North American International Auto Show, checking out the all new Cadillac XT6. Cadillac's brand new three row SUV. <laughs> As you can see, it looks significantly different from any Cadillac product currently in the market. And we know this by seeing some kind of curves in some angles, you'll notice that as we hit the back, we notice quite a curve, which is very rare for Cadillac cars to have. You'll notice that a lot of Cadillac products are very boxy. This one kind of has a smooth curve going on at the back. And my belief is this is based on products such as the Chevrolet Traverse, the Buick Enclave, as well as the GMC Acadia. As we get to the back, we notice more Cadillac familiar elements such as the vertical tail lamps. You'll notice it's an LED element that runs along the edges and it kind of seeps into the trunk lid. Looks really cool. So we have an LED strip that runs along the center of the tail lamp cluster. On the left side of that, you have an LED stripe as well that might be used more for braking. Um, not exactly sure which one is the indicating element or the turn signal, but it might be one of those two. I would be sure that it would be a red element though, because I don't see any orange. These wheels look really cool. Let's try to get a closer look. So these wheels are actually I'm trying to get the spec on them. They're 20 inch wheels. And yeah, so you'll notice they're actually quite fit for the size of this vehicle. This is slotted right between the XT5 and the Cadillac Escalade. And if you want something smaller, you'd have to go for the XT4 over there behind those people. So you'll notice the Cadillac emblem on the side, right above the wheel arch. Pretty typical of Cadillac vehicles. These headlights look very unique. I don't think I've noticed headlights on Cadillac products like this before. We've usually seen them to be along this, where we have vertically stacked, but these are more horizontal, and they look really cool. Uh, I don't think we have an LED element or LED daytime running lights within the headlight cluster. Uh, they might just be LED headlights. Um, but the LED daytime running light is actually down here. We have a stripe that runs along, and inside we have three projection beam headlamps for the headlights as well as the high beam, for the low beams as well as the high beams. This grill looks really cool. Uh, you'll notice it is a black plastic grill, but it has these little elements of chrome. Over here we have chrome elements that run as well. It's actually a plastic chrome, has that kind of matte finish. XT6 badging. And the door handles themselves look like they light up, just because I've seen those kind of door handles before with the light running through the middle. Very cool. I like to see how this actually compares in terms of size to other SUVs in the segment, such as the Infiniti QX60, as well as a few others. I guess the Lexus RXL and maybe the BMW X7. I'm not sure if this is a direct competitor to that, but I would guess it would be because it is kind of a crossover that's not as big as the Escalade, but still has three rows. So this has been a look at 
the Cadillac XT6 at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit.